Well, it's nice to be here at Yarra Bilba. I just want to bring the message of salvation to you. In other words, how you can be in heaven through the Lord Jesus Christ. So we're looking at uh, Acts chapter 3. Now Peter and John went up together into the temple at the hour of prayer, being the ninth hour. And a certain lame man from his mother's womb was carried, whom they laid at the gate of the temple, which is called Beautiful, to ask alms of them that entered into the temple. So he was asking for money for the pe from the people who were entering into the temple, who, seeing Peter and John about to go into the temple, asked an alms. And Peter, fastening his eyes upon him with John, said, Look on us. And he gave heed unto them, expecting to receive something from them. In other words, he expected to receive some money from them. Then Peter said, Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have give I thee. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. And he took him by the right hand and lifted him up. And immediately his feet and ankle bones received strength. And he, leaping up, stood and walked and entered with them into the temple, walking and leaping and praising God. And all the people saw him walking and praising God, and they knew that it was uh, he which sat for arms at the beautiful gate of the temple. And they were filled with wonder and amazement at that which had happened unto him. And as the lame man which uh, was healed held Peter and John, all the people ran together unto them in the porch that is called Solomon's, greatly wondering. And when Paul saw it, he answered unto the people, Ye men of Israel, why marvel ye at this? Or why look ye so earnestly on us, as though by our own power or holiness we had made this man to walk? The God of uh, Abraham and of Isaac and of Jacob, the God of our fathers, hath glorified his son Jesus, whom ye delivered up, and denied him in the presence of Pilate when he was determined to let him go. But ye denied the Holy One and the just, that's the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, um, and desired a murderer to be granted unto you, and killed the Prince of Life, that's the Lord Jesus Christ, whom God hath raised from the dead, whereof we are witnesses. And his name, through faith in his name, hath made this man strong, whom ye see and know. Yea, the faith which is by him hath God hath given him this perfect soundness in the presence of you all. And now, brethren, I wot or I know that through ignorance ye did it, as did also your rulers. But those things which God before had showed by the mouth of all his prophets, that Christ should suffer, he hath so fulfilled. Repent ye therefore, and be converted, or be turned around, that your sins may be blotted out. Then the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. And he shall send Jesus Christ, which before was preached unto you, whom the heaven must receive until the times of restitution of all things, which God hath spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets since the world began. What does it mean, repent ye therefore and be converted? It means repentance is a change of mind. Simply come into God and say, yes, I realize that I am a sinner. I've sinned in my sight. You see, we're guilty, hell-deserving sinners. We deserve hell because of our sins. But God wants to forgive you of all of your sins, this Arvo, my friend. If you come to Christ, if you put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, your soul will be saved. Repent you, ye therefore, and be converted, that your sins may, may be blotted out. God is able to blot out your sins by means of the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. The blood of the Lord Jesus Christ that was shed on the cross is all sufficient for your salvation, my friend, in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. How are you? you want something to read? Can I ask you some questions? Yeah, you can. So, I'm Muslim myself. Yep. So, we believe that Mother Mary, um, 
she gave Jesus like a birth yes. without any like inclusion of a man. Yes. So what do you reckon that's true or not? That's what we think. That is correct, yes. The Lord Jesus Christ is the virgin born one. He's he was conceived of the Holy Spirit okay. by the Father. As the Holy Spirit came upon Mary okay. and she conceived. And so the reason that's so important is because when we're born, we're born in a physical sense, we actually have the sinful nature. You know, that the Lord Jesus Christ does not have that. And so that's why it had to be that's why it had to be a, a virgin birth. But he was conceived of the Holy Spirit. So th th that's so, the difference between him and you and I. We're sinners, but he's not a sinner. Okay. So he's the only way to heaven. Okay. So what you're saying, so Jesus Christ, according to you guys, yep. is a God. No, he's not a God. He is God. He is God himself. He's the God himself. So yes. with us, we saying God doesn't mean um, like he doesn't need to be born. He's just there. So how did Jesus yes, that Christ? Is correct. So how did Jesus Christ become like you know? Because God doesn't need help. I know. You know? Yes, that is absolutely correct. Yeah, so you're right. When God doesn't need help, See, how, yes. why did Mother Mary help him grow up as Jesus Christ? Yeah, 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 but, yeah. But the point is this: but a lot of people don't understand this. The Lord Jesus Christ is the Eternal One. He was actually in heaven before. He just came and took upon himself a body when he was born of Mary. He's the ever-existing one. He is God, along with the Father and the Holy Spirit. That is, there is one God, but, it, but God is made up of three persons. And we have the Godhead, what we call the Godhead. Some people would call it the Trinity, but the word Trinity is not in the Bible. I understand that. But, but we have the Father sent the Son to be the Saviour of the world, and the Son sent the Holy Spirit to bring conviction upon people of sin, righteousness, and judgment, so that we could see that we know, need salvation. That we need... But see, we don't need to go down to hell, but that's where we're heading by default. We're actually, when we're born, we're born as sinners. God doesn't want that. And so that's why the Father sent the Son to be the Saviour of the world. But we must understand the Lord Jesus Christ existed in eternity before he was born so on he, earth. Why did he not just like become, like, told everyone, hey, I'm Jesus? Why did he have to become a human to get people to believe in him? Because... If he had the yep. power, if he had the power to... Because God, he has the power to do anything. Oh, yeah. yeah. So if he had the power to do every, anything, because yeah. I'm Muslim. Yeah. So Allah didn't come up as um, a child or had mm. to be raised to grow up to be the God. He made, like, he sent messages and stuff, like the Prophet Muhammad and the stuff. Yeah. Why did Jesus not didn't do that? That's why my question is. Well, the point is, the Lord Jesus Christ had to take on a body, so that in that body he could taste death. He, by the grace of God, should taste death for every man. Yeah. He had to die on the cross, because God requires a sacrifice. It's got to be blood. There's so, got to be blood shed, and that's the blood of His dear Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. He's the Lamb of God so, that took the sinner's place. So we're trying to say God, Jesus Christ, died on that cross, or was it Correct. a replica of His body? Because that's what we think we can. Well, um, in Muslim, we reckon that Jesus Christ, He, because He's a God, He can do anything. He has switched His body, so. Um, so people believe that he is dead, but in reality he's still alive, but he's waiting for the end of the day to come back to get to tell like because in our in our religion we believe in God, yeah. but we believe in God, Jesus Christ, him himself as a messenger, not as God. Oh, I see. Yeah, I see I see you so what you're saying is he's inferior to yeah. God. Yeah. Okay, yeah, well, so he, like in our religion, we reckon that he's the messenger of the God. Because Allah, who, because Allah has sent 12 um, messengers yeah. and then prophecies and stuff to tell us to get us the right way. That's why he has sent in, that's why he has sent in the book, the Quran, yeah. from, the, uh, from the heavens to the earth to show us to get us the right way. But then it's been the same type of writing, everything, everything's been the same from like the generation and generation. But from now, uh, 
but from now um jesus christ books has been changed so many times and then i don't have i don't have a book i don't have i don't have what page it is but once yeah. there was a mistake that it says that i don't know whose name is it says one h but the different one says the another h so that's why i'm kind of like confused of why they have always changed it towards to be better with the earth's feelings but in the same time why does why does it have to be the same thing before that they didn't eat they didn't drink wine and shit but now they can do wine and all of that shit what's 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 up with that yeah well you gotta understand there are certain laws that in the old testament that don't apply to us today because they were things that were meant for the jews and so you know because we're not jewish so it doesn't actually apply to us so you know there's certain things that do apply to us there's other th certain things that don't but the point is this obviously you're not seeing the fact that the lord jesus christ he is god now this is what we've got to understand he is god so what you're trying to say and he died on the cross jesus christ was a jew before he became christian because you're saying those books are mo most of them are meant for the jews before that yeah well i'm not saying it's exclusively but there are certain dietary laws and all those things you may have read them in the bible in the word of god in the old testament and they don't actually apply to us like you're not allowed to eat shrimps or whatever it is you know certain things but that doesn't actually apply to us so we've got to look at it from you know what applies to us and what doesn't but the main issue is that the lord jesus christ he is god and he had to take upon himself a body, like I said, uh, a, a sinless body, not like you and I, because we're sinners. You know, you, you obviously realise we've sinned and we've, we do things that are wrong in the sight of God. And so those things are taking us down to hell. And God does not want us to go down to hell, and that's why the Lord Jesus Christ had to come, be born of, of Mary, that, that virgin birth, you know, by the Holy Spirit, so that he didn't have the sinful nature that you and I have. We have what God calls the flesh or the sinful nature that causes us to want to do things our own way and disobey God. But God doesn't want that, obviously. God created us to glorify him and to obey him and worship him. But we've got to come to Christ to be saved. There's no other way that we can be saved. Neither is there salvation in any other. This is Acts 4, verse 12. For there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. So I'm not interested in any other other name Buddha or whoever it is no one else can get us to heaven we, we've got to come through Christ otherwise we'll never be in heaven we'll be in hell at the moment of death that's, that's the point that's, of, that's, that's your point of view it's what's written in the Bible the Word of God yeah but and that's what I follow that's what I believe yeah but you know. if you think about it yeah the Bible the Bible has been changed that's the thing the Quran the Allah the, the, the Quran our Bible it hasn't been changed from ever that's the thing like yeah. that's why i'm kind of like it's hard to believe yeah yeah i understand look there's all these new um versions coming out and all this is that what he's talking about yeah like, I yeah i know i don't i don't trust those new versions i believe they're wrong i stick with the King James, and when I say that, I don't mean the new King James, I mean the old King James, 1611 authorised version. That's what I believe is the closest we have to the original in the English language I'm talking about now. You know, as you know, it was written in, in, in um, you know, Hebrew and a few a couple of different languages in the Old Testament, and then mainly Greek in the New Testament. That was how it was written yeah, because in those languages. With, but, you know. with the Quran, it was written as Arabic, and it's still the yeah. same meaning. In English and other other languages, you could think of the same wording, the same thing. That's why I'm like, you know. Yeah, yeah. but but if that isn't the word of God, why go by it? See, I don't believe it's the word of God. Why well, you don't believe in God's God? Because you know, the Lord Jesus Christ is the only way. He said, John fourteen six, I am the way. He didn't say a way. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So I don't care who it is. If it's not Jesus Christ, no good. It will take us to hell. Any man-made religion, you look at it, any man-made religion is, you do good stuff and you'll get to heaven, right? Is that, yeah, see? That's right, but that's wrong. In the sight of God, that's wrong. 
because it relies upon the sacrifice of Jesus Christ upon the cross. He did the work on the cross that no one else could do. He died the sacrificial death. And if we if we try and get to heaven any other way, we're not going to make it. We're going to be, end up in hell. And this is my concern with you, if you're Muslim or... I don't care what religion people are. If it's man-made religion, no good. Religion is not man-made, that's the thing, because it's been from the generation and generation that's never been changed. That's no, the thing. It, it, it's a man. It's man trying to get to God from down here and it will never work. God came down in the person of Christ and, and you know, took upon himself that body, as I've said. To be crucified, to be the sinless sacrifice that took the sinner's place on the cross. Yeah. This is, you know, you know. Anyway, it's nice talking to you. Thanks for, thanks for coming up and talking. I appreciate that. God bless you. Yeah, well, we got up to verse 22, I think it was, of Acts chapter 3. For Moses truly said unto the fathers, um, A prophet shall the Lord your God raise up unto you of your brethren, like unto me, him shall he hear in all things whatsoever he shall say unto you. And it shall come to pass that every soul which will not hear that prophet shall be destroyed from among the people. Yea, and all the prophets from Samuel to tho and those that follow after, as many as have spoken, have likewise foretold of these days. Ye are the children of the prophets and of the covenant which God made with our fathers, saying unto Abraham, And in thy seed shall all the kindreds of the earth be blessed. Unto you first, God, having raised up his son Jesus, sent him to bless you, in turning away every one of you from his iniquities. That's the whole point. The Lord Jesus Christ came to die on the cross. And yes, I've just been discussing with a, with a young man here just a minute ago about the Lord Jesus Christ having a virgin birth. That's absolutely correct. He had to be born of a virgin because he doesn't have the sinful nature that you and I have. You and I are flawed because of our sinful nature and we're heading down to hell by default. Because of our sin, our sins are taking us down to hell and God does not want that for you, my friend. God wants you to be in heaven. And this is why I come, this is why I come, this Arvo, to bring the message of hope and salvation and the love of God and also the wrath of God if you refuse the love of God. You've got to understand, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him, that is on Jesus Christ, is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. There's one way to heaven and one way only, that is through the perfect Son of the living God, the Lord Jesus Christ, who wants to be your Saviour today. Will you come to Christ in repentance, acknowledge that you're a sinner before God, it's a change of mind, simply agree with God that you are a sinner, and then believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Well, I hope you understood the message. We're heading down to hell by default. God does not want that, so he sent the Lord Jesus Christ to die upon the cross and shed his precious blood upon the cross. But praise God, the third day he rose again according to the scriptures. If you're interested in this, look me up, youtube.com forward slash peace by Jesus Christ. Remember, in whom we have redemption through his blood. Now, redemption means that we're brought back by a price that's been paid in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. Thanks for listening. Have a great night.